Um, but right now, I think the, the spreads between Italian government bonds and the safer versions of the German government bonds, again, are about to widen. And you can do that by a couple of ETFs in Europe as well, or trading futures. The overall stance, guys, is that I am short equities and I, I think credit spreads will continue to widen. And that reflects my underlying macro analysis and the inputs I'm getting from the macro compass, which is my main model that the economy is slowing down at the same time central banks are tightening monetary policy, which is the worst possible combination for risk assets, then I, I screen them all and I look for the best risk reward expressions. And I think that they're the opposite of bond prices. So one looks like 14 half the Greek one into the 40s. So that's what happened yesterday. And uh, the the narrower that spread is, the better the better it is for the system. But when that spread st starts widening, that means Italy is in trouble. That means the Italian government bonds are dropping in price, and their yields are going up a lot faster than the German ones. So that's what happened yesterday. And uh, let's go back to uh, history uh, a little bit here. And I've got the uh, the pigs, as you can see. P-I-I-G-S, Portugal, Italy, uh, Ireland, Greece, and Spain. And you can see uh, where the rates went back in 2012, 2011. The Italian 10-year yield went up above 7.5. The Greek went into the 40s, right? Ireland went into the teens, I would say. Yeah, 15%. Uh, it looks like 14%. Portugal went up uh, almost to uh, 20% and Spain went up to around 7.5% like, uh, like Italy. Uh, so if development that violations and shit is... Uh, in Der Spiegel and other magazines about human rights violations in China. Actually, borrow market uh, to meet so that it can borrow in the commercial market are so enormous that you need to uh, central bank but it doesn't that, uh, that uh, uh, superseding uh, to uh, city and uh, uh, now during these uh, this period of time before 2024 to help Europe hang together and also to prepare for a world where I, well, I hope it won't happen but where Trump returns to, to the White House. But well, I, I have actually been very impressed by the unity and the uh, uh, decisiveness and the willingness to uh, use this occasion to, con to continue to develop uh, greater, uh, uh, greater more of a federation. So uh, this idea of the partial federation uh, a superseding uh, confederation is a very important uh, step forward. And uh, I, I think uh, what is more actually uh, discussed, and I didn't discuss in my paper, uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, Europe is an incomplete uh, project. And uh, it has a, a central bank, but it doesn't have a treasury. And the needs, financial needs, of, of uh, uh, that Europe has to face are so enormous that you need to uh, uh, take that additional step and, uh, and also benefit from the positive developments in Europe and allow the European Union to uh, raise its own uh, uh, source of income so that it can borrow in the commercial markets. That is a missing step and, uh, and there isn't yet uh, a really uh, determined uh, policy on this. So, uh, to meet the tremendous needs, uh, financial needs, Europe must use its improved credibility to actually borrow a market in its own name. Because right now, it can only borrow from its member states. It hasn't yet the ability to borrow from the market. And that needs to be repaired. Thank you, George. Da, da, Jan. Yep, you, yep, yep, sorry. Embargo against Russia and Europe. Violations in cities. Uh, React to this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I th uh, there is unity uh, about it. Uh, uh, what was the first question? Be an oil well, the oil embargo is a very interesting subject, and, it, uh, 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 and I think that uh, Putin is, has been very clever in uh, sort of blackmailing Europe, threatening to cut off the gas. But actually, his case is much less strong than he pretends, because last year 
he uh, uh, didn't release uh, gas, but put it into the into the uh, Russian uh, uh, reserves. And do, by doing that, he extorted enormous, uh, he pushed up the price of gas enormously, and it basically made a lot of money. Uh, I think in the, in, uh, since the embargo was in, in, imposed, he has made, made a, uh, Russia has made a lot more money than was imp uh, impounded by the, the, uh, uh, the very clever trick of the U.S. to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, seize the, the uh, dollar assets of the, uh, the European uh, of uh, uh, Russia. So uh, uh, that, that, uh, that is uh, he has really now. So he, he he filled up the reservoirs that Russia has. And they'll be full in July. And if he doesn't release it somewhere, uh, they'll overflow. And because the equipment is so uh, antiquated and badly preserved, that uh, 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 if you, uh, you, he will have to actually, uh, if he doesn't release it to the market, uh, he will have to uh, start shutting down the oil fields in Siberia that are producing the gas. And if, because of this old equipment, if you restart it, you lose at least half the output. And this is uh, uh, a, uh, uh, facing them, facing Putin, uh, starting in July. So he's actually in a crisis. And he has managed somehow to, to terrify Europe. And Europe is basically bluffing some organizers. Very good authority in, in this, in this in, to uh, uh, Draghi, because he is the man. I mean, uh, it is based on very good authority uh, development on my part uh, to point this out. But I haven't had a, this is a relatively recent uh, development on my part. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, it is based on very good authority. And I've been, uh, uh, actually, uh, I've sent it uh, to, uh, uh, to, to uh, uh, Draghi because he is the man who is most capable and in, in this, in this, in championing this. Uh, it, the letter has been sent. I sent it yesterday, uh, but I haven't got the reply. So I'm glad to tell you about it. <laughs> it's a very important development that Europe is currently doesn't take advantage of. So, sir, does it look like does it mean that you are in favour of both an oil embargo and so, uh, sir? Excuse me, just a quick follow-up. So, does it mean that you are in favour of both an oil embargo against Russia and a gas embargo against Russia? Forget about the oil, oil embargo, because oil is f fungible. And actually, uh, Europe has developed uh, some plans for a bias cartel. But I think that's a, the, wrong, uh, the wrong approach, because oil is fungible. You can put it on ship and send it anywhere. So if you, you, Europe doesn't buy it, the Chinese will be very happy to take it. So this is the wrong thing. But uh, using the gas uh, 